today we're going to go over a recipe that a lot of people has been wondering about. So today we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do my sugar wash for the, for the wine coolers. So first thing we're going to go over the recipe. First of all, of course you need some sanitizer. Because you got to make sure everything's sanitized. And then uh, we're going to need five gallons of water. And then we're going to need a six ounce can of tomato paste. Somewhere in the neighborhood between 10 and 12 pounds of sugar. So we want our starting SG to be at uh, 1.08 to start with. Uh, that's real important on this recipe because uh, if you have too much sugar in there, your yeast is going to die out and leave the, the wash sweet. And we don't want that to happen, so we don't want to put too much sugar in there. Uh, more than our yeast is going to eat, so that's why we want to start out at around 1.080. And at 1.080, uh, that's going to give us an alcohol potential of 10.5, and then we're going to water it down with some juice. So you're going to be right around 9.5%, so that's plenty for some wine coolers. Uh, you can adjust it and make it lower if you want to do that. Um, also, to this recipe, I'm going to add one teaspoon of citric acid and two teaspoons of yeast nutrient and two packets of EC1118 champagne yeast. Okay, and to start the recipe, we're going to put a pan of water on the stove and start heating that up. I got about a gallon and a half of water in the pan. So we'll go ahead and heat that up. So now our water is heated up to the simmer stage. Go ahead and sanitize the spoon here. And then we'll add our tomato paste to the water. in there. Mix all that in real well. Now we got the tomato paste all dissolved in the water. Uh, the tomato paste we go ahead and use that for a uh, nutrient to help the the yeast to have something to eat that's what the tomato paste is for now we'll go ahead and dissolve I'm gonna do eight pounds of sugar in here to start with and then we can adjust it later just slowly stir that in and dissolve your sugar in there once I get that all dissolved in there I'll uh, be right back. Okay, so we've got all of our sugar and our tomato paste in there. We'll go ahead and simmer this for about five minutes just to kill off anything that might be in it. And then we'll pull it off the burner and let it cool. Okay, and while that's cooling off, we'll go ahead and uh, get some star sand going. And we'll sanitize our fermenter and our airlock and all those things. We'll get all this stuff sanitized while that's cooling off. Okay, so now we've got our bucket sanitized. We'll go ahead and uh, put our tomato sugar mixture in there. Let's dump it down in there. And then we'll uh, top it up to the five gallon mark with some cool water. So we'll just keep pouring cool water in here until we get up to the five gallon mark. Okay, so now we've got all of our water in there. We're back up to five gallons. So we'll go ahead and uh, mix it up real well. Okay, so now we've got it mixed up real well, we're going to go ahead and take a hydrometer reading on it. 
remember we want to be right around 1.8 1 1.080 that's our target for this guy Okay, we're at 1.068, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, add about three cups of sugar and then we'll retest it. Okay, so I went ahead and adjusted it. We're at uh, 1.080. Um, it's looking like we used about exactly 10 pounds of sugar to get there, and that's what the recipe called for. We're going to add a teaspoon of acid blend. and two teaspoons of yeast nutrient. And then we'll mix that in real well. Okay, so there's our wash all mixed up. We're gonna go ahead and take a temperature reading on it. Make sure it's around 70 degrees and then we'll pitch our yeast. Sixty-nine point four, we're close enough. Okay, so we got our sanitized scissors here, and again we're using Lavalin EC1118 yeast. It's a champagne yeast. Uh, I would recommend using a champagne yeast on this one, just because there's not a lot of nutrients in there. So you want a good strong yeast. So we're just going to sprinkle that on the top. And again we're going to use two packets on this one. And there's our yeast on top. We're not going to stir it in. We're just going to go ahead and cover it up. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and just put our lid and airlock on the top. And we'll check back with it in a day or two. Okay, so here's our sugar wash. It's been uh, three days. As you can see, it's foaming and bubbling up there. So for the first five or six days every day, you want to get a sanitized spoon and mix this up just to keep the yeast going. So I like to mix it up every day for the first three or four days. And then in three or four more days, we'll go ahead and uh, transfer that into a carboy. That's about it for the sugar wash at this time. Watch for further updates.